used to be before GDPR that if you had a data breach, you'll get a slap on the wrist. Now, you have 72 hours to report it to the ICO, the Independent Commission Officer. Once you've now discovered which database or data source has been compromised, you have 30 days to let every one of those single individual on that database know that you've been compromised in a security way. 68% of businesses in the UK have already been compromised without them knowing. So my advice to you is to speak to your IT company or support or internal support people and to make sure that you look at all the different levels of security that you have in place. In other words, have a very, very good firewall that checks for security issues both inbound and outbound. If you're using Office 365, don't just rely on Microsoft to secure your emails. Have a third party security company to check all the links because most of the security breaches are still coming through. Make sure, for instance, that all your USB ports are turned off and only used for charging and not being able to, to use to copy data because so many people bring data in via phone or USB stick still. Your website needs to be secure and any online databases you have. So the first thing I would do if I was you, is speak to your web developer and make sure that your all your website data is sitting on a secure server. So when you log on, it should say HTTPS, not HTTP. If you're still allowing your home workers to use VPNs, virtual private network, it's like running a thin cable from the office to the house machine or laptop. And if Mary or Mary's little brother or sister goes on to that home machine, downloads some malware, and that jumps into the office, you will get compromised. My recommendation is stop any VPNs and rather use a file solution like Dropbox or any other solution that would check any files that's uploading in the cloud and back down again to the remote machine. I hate to say this, but of course, if you're using Macs, you can ignore at least half this video that I've just mentioned. But God forbid you do get compromised and you find out what do you need to do next? The first thing you need to do is to have a very clearly defined process in place that will guide you in case you have a compromise. So make sure that the DPO, the Data Protection Officer, which so by the way cannot be the MD or the directors, know what to do, who to phone, and how to communicate with all the people that was on that database. And then potentially put some time inside to test this process 